Round three, we'll play first. Keeping. Nice hand. Get to go Jade Bear. Well, we can... <laughs> I keep having a hard time deciding whether, what I like more. I almost like... I, I, I almost want to just wait so I can protect my Mist Binder, but... It's a, I mean, it's a tough choice. Like I can, I can wait and do. I think I'm gonna wait again. I, I feel bad playing Jade Bear as just a one mana one one. Maybe that's my problem. Well, you know, honestly, if I was gonna see any color to my turn two Mistbinder, it's green. I would love to see green. Uh oh. I spoke too soon. Now they have the red. <laughs> That's okay. Let's uh, let's pump our mist binder. Oh, I, this is actually <laughs> this is actually perfect because now I don't even have to worry about uh, bombard. Or Luminous Bond, or anything else, really. And I can even depth that. guess I don't even have to. But I can. I, I guess I will. Because I can still just... I'm going to protect my Mist Binder. I, oh. Well, they got the hand reveal on that one. They're like, you know what? You have an answer to that? Done. Um... I haven't mentioned this in a while, so one thing that does really make me unhappy about the interface is that the next button is exactly where the reveal hand button is. I know I've mentioned it before, but I, I don't like that. So, uh, and I know you're like, well, why don't you just F2? But it's like, I don't want to always F2. Sometimes I like to click, and I don't think it's that much of an inconvenience for him to change the interface slightly, so the reveal hand button isn't precisely where the go to next step button is, but I don't know. I digress. All right. So we don't know what we're playing against other than likely some sort of Naya dinosaur deck. That would make the Atsokan Seer make a lot more sense. So do we even have a sideboard really? Not, not especially. I mean, we have more bounce we can do. We have plummet for flyers that's about it we have the crushing canopy for flyers and enchantments so these are our sideboard options none of these seem like based on what we saw which is one spell and probably an archetype um, worthy of bringing in just yet okay well we're gonna keep this we get to go jade bear into jade bear i suppose oh wait we don't have green mana maybe this wasn't a keep I've been known to miss that from time to time. All right, let's draw two here and then discard. What are we discarding? Could be the dive down. I like it, but I don't need to protect anything and all my other spells seem a little more valuable. I guess next turn we're doing the incursion. There's our green mana. Let's go incursion still. It's best use of mana. Alright. So, presumably ramping into some fat fat at some point here. Hmm. I think we just Jade Bear a Hexproof Merfolk. Attack for two. And then we'll play probably a Stalker, I guess. Could actually leave up the run aground for the fatty that they play, but next turn I can play the run aground plus play a River Herald Spoon, so I don't think we need to do that.
So get rid of this guy. Swing these two. I might just pump too. Yeah. And then we can probably just incursion our way to victory here, especially now that he's hexproof. Water knot is perfect. Perfect draw. Get him for seven. All right, they've had enough. So, got the victory, ended up going 2-1. Thought our deck was awesome. It's a very cool, awesome little merfolk brew here. Had that really tough pick that was second Mistbinder, which, let's be honest, this deck really wanted a second Mistbinder, but it really wants a Seafloor Oracle, too. We really just had the choice between the two like best cards you could ask for for this deck. And I opted for drawing cards over buff. And I think that is right. Drawing cards is just so huge. Um, so hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back for more. And we'll see you then.